Hey guys, and welcome back to NFT Zone. If you've been involved with the crypto market in the last months, I'm sure you've heard all about NFTs at least once. They seem to be the number one hot topic right now, and there are many investors who are making tons of money with NFTs. However, while NFTs can indeed make you very rich very fast, they can also make you dead broke just as fast. There are a couple of things to watch out for when buying NFTs, which can turn the dream of digital assets into a nightmare. In today's video, we'll discuss what to watch out for when buying NFTs. Also, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more NFT content. Without further ado, let's head into the video. If you've never heard of NFTs before, let's do a quick overview about what they are first. A non-fungible token, or an NFT, is a digital asset with no monetary value that may be expressed in terms of another. A $100 bill has the same value as two $50 bills, 10 $10 banknotes, and so on when it comes to fungible assets like money. However, with a non-fungible token, such transactions are just not feasible. These assets are based on the blockchain idea. NFTs can be an excellent way for artists and content producers to be financially compensated for their efforts. Artists are no longer required to sell their work through auction houses or galleries. In contrast, an artist may utilize NFT to sell their work to a consumer. This also allows the artist to get a larger portion of the profits. Perhaps the most famous and funny NFT story is about believe it or not, apes. Thousands of Twitter users' avatars were unexpectedly turned into drawings of apes just a few months ago. Apes wearing sunglasses or bunny ears. Gorillas with leopard painted or rainbow fur. Apes smoking cigars or firing laser beams from their eyes. Many of them had smug expressions or toothy grins on their cheeks. Some had cigarettes dangling from their mouths, whilst others had bloodshot eyes from being stoned. In the middle of the Twitter hysteria, the monkeys were calmly and encouragingly chatting amongst themselves. The avatars were obtained from the website Bored Ape Yacht Club, which had formally debuted on April the 30th, offering 10,000 unique copies of the cartoon monkeys for sale as non-fungible tokens, or NFTs, each for around $200 in Ethereum money. The website advertised that a Bored Ape NFT doubles as your membership to a swamp club for apes, next to an image of a decrepit wooden structure festooned with strings of colorful lights. Within a day after the launch, all 10,000 Bored Ape Yacht Club images had sold out. However, the devil is always in the details, and there are some significant complexities that complicate the concept of acquiring NFTs. Let's tackle them one by one. By the way, have you guys ever actually bought NFTs? If you have, or if you haven't, please let us know in the comment section below. Not so liquid after all. In contrast to Bitcoin, which is already liquid and easily traded, the situation with NFTs is slightly different. Despite the fact that the NFT market is expanding and becoming ever more popular, the type of NFTs purchased determines the bulk of its volume. Given all of this, you'd be very foolish to invest in a poor market in the hope that it will improve. As a result, at Fusible, we fractionalize your NFTs and create AMM pools to improve their liquidity. Converting your NFTs to FT tokens enhances the liquidity and the value of your creations and collections. Copyright. I realize it's inconvenient, but this one must be considered. You should be aware that if you purchase an NFT, you definitely will not own the copyright to that work. In many situations, the artist maintains ownership of the copyright and is entitled to the monetary compensation if the object is sold. Some NFT clients are ignorant to this fact and believe they may do whatever they want to. Consider this. If you bought a signed copy of a book, you would not automatically think you own the rights to it. Well, the same is true for NFTs. Each token has a smart contract that outlines the rights of the NFT owner. Before you buy, be sure to understand all of the terms. Brand new and just as dangerous. You might argue that the NFT market is still in its childhood. We don't know how the NFT market will grow after the next few years or even decades. Consider Beeple's digital network, which just sold at Christie's for more than $69 million, 
that piece's value might rise or drop dramatically. Simply put, we have no idea. Although many experts believe that NFTs will be around for a really long time, some argue that the sector is in a bubble. Furthermore, the market's youth presents certain distinct challenges. Platform experience is critical in dealing with the issues that a newbie may face in the NFT industry. Lack of technical expertise, time-consuming processes, underlying infrastructure issues, such as scalability, latency, and transaction cost, an inefficient price discovery method, and auction limitations are just a few of the issues that might negatively impact the platform's user experience. The environment killer. At first, it didn't make sense to me that a single piece of crypto art was responsible for tons of carbon gas emissions. When the cost of materials and shipping are considered in with the sale or transaction of a physical painting, a piece of digital art should, in my opinion, emit less emissions than a fine art painting. So learning about the huge detrimental impact NFTs have had on the environment surprised me. The miner's job is the most environmentally damaging aspect of the NFT process. Miners are responsible for validating NFT transactions and adding them to the blockchain. They are the people from all over the globe who attempt to solve a math problem or puzzle in order for another block to be added to the chain. When the miner completes the problem, he is rewarded with a proof of work. This proof of work, on the other hand, comes at a high expense. The computers that generate these puzzles and difficulties for miners to solve do so on purpose to make it less profitable for a hacker to attempt to tamper with the ledgers. These blockchain transactions consume the same amount of energy as the whole country of Libya. Unfortunately, every client who buys or sells on the NFT marketplace contributes to part of these emissions. Also, make sure to write your thoughts on the environmental debate regarding NFTs and cryptos in the comments section below. NFTs, a lot of fraud and theft. One thing is for sure, NFT definitely doesn't mean no fraud or theft. One of the most significant benefits of NFTs is that they enable digital artists to claim ownership of their work, making money from goods that anyone may freely download and distribute, sometimes without the artist's permission, was previously impossible. This isn't to say that non-traditional financial institutions aren't susceptible to fraud. Unfortunately, there have already been complaints from artists who allege that their work was tokenized without their consent. It isn't clear how many artists may reclaim ownership of their work once it's been incorrectly uploaded to the blockchain in the name of someone else. NFT theft is another issue that has yet to be resolved. Your NFT is subject to being stolen, just like bitcoins. If you plan to retain your NFT on the exchange where you purchased it, ensure your password is safe and that two-factor authentication is enabled. If you have a valuable NFT, consider keeping it offline in a secure, hard-to-hack location. Conclusion The most important factor to consider before committing to long-term blockchain transactions is how the purchase will fit into your life. The only way to do so is to take a step back and consider all possibilities. If you aren't interested in NFTs for investment purposes, they might not be for you. And it might be more cost effective to just get a free digital copy of the art you like instead. If you want to invest in NFTs but don't have a technical degree, there are user-friendly and ecological conscious websites where you can visit. One of them is a platform called OpenSea. OpenSea, the largest NFT marketplace, is releasing an app for consumers now in Google Play and in Apple App Stores. The app's release comes on the heels of a record-breaking month for the platform. In August, OpenSea's website saw 2 million transactions, totaling $3.4 billion in trade volume, and more than tripling activity from the previous month. Daily trading activity has dropped significantly from its high in late August to this point in September, according to Dune Analytics. Nonetheless, the app has the ability to capitalize on the company's momentum by offering customers a simple way to track non-fungible token holdings, sales, trading histories on mobile. The software is set to be released in app stores on Friday. Most importantly, as always, you should follow the golden rule of investing. Never waste any money which you cannot afford to lose. So what do you guys think about NFTs? Are you still interested in buying them despite their disadvantages? 
do let us know in the comments below. And that brings us to the end of today's video. I do hope you had fun watching, and be sure to like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated. Also, activate the bell icon to get notified on all our upcoming videos on the world of NFTs. Enjoy your day, and I'll catch you next time.